Please tell me the other option wasn't like curator or not. Um, but this is fine. Hit the button. Firewall is cool. Not the best when we take this. Reroll. Ooh, that's double rock pool. Um, I'll probably just level in next round. I don't think I'm locking for that. The coin lady? Okay. I think I need to like update her on my tier list. Um, wrong one. I think she's good, but I'm like kind of unsure about how good is my problem. I um, I initially thought she was like giga broken. I still have her in A, I think. No, I have her in B. That's probably fair. But um, I think that I overvalue her. She's probably like C. I don't think she's giga trash, but. Uh, the first few games I had with her, I think, were really strong, and then maybe just got baited based on that. By the, got the alley count, hopefully. Um, okay. I think I maybe just sell this by Direwolf. The light dims, but we fight. Maybe it's actually by alley count lock and then level up and no, because it's not guaranteed. That's fine. We just do this here. Um, I think this is a better line though, because you just like hero power level up again, and you get another chance at a one. It's fine. Are mechs the strongest? I don't think so. I think mechs are the easiest to build, and people always go for them. I think they're also like fairly consistent, because you don't have to go for sixes for mechs. You can go for like um, for threes a lot of time, or sorry for fours. So you don't have to get fives or sixes. But I don't think they're the best. I think they're just like a solid comp that a lot of people go because they're pretty easy to play. Your minions really pulled their um. Weight. Okay. Q4 is fine. I think the micro machine is still better, but it's an okay pick. Um, should do it like this, I guess. I'm doing a little crutch for you, man. Um, suck, sup, uh, feel a duck as well. Hey, Demon. What is good? But, um, yeah, happy I got Yogg over here for sure. I keep on forgetting that, like, I can't really bathroom break that well because, like, these games go pretty quickly. He your fire still loses. That feels bad. Really, really bad for him. You're good at this. Mm, I don't really want anything from this shop. I should reroll. Okay. Um. Metal tooth, and then buy this and level up. I maybe just like lock. If I lock, what am I buying? I guess I buy like micro over mechero. I want to like at least discover a four, I think. That should be fine. It's not very strong, but for Yogg, I think you just want to play a lot of minions early. AFK is like kind of big too. So it's five to level, so then I would like level and hero power, maybe lock again. That could make sense. Maybe we get the Dire Wolf, maybe we don't. That's a really good hit for us. Nice, so bad. This card's big too, but we beat it, I think. Oh, we tie, okay. Tie's fine. What's really weird that she actually picked Fester Root. Seems like a really bad card to use. So we level up and we do this, see what happens. Get Alley Cat, we lock again. Alley Cat's not a bad roll, really. Because, um,. It fills up the board, so maybe my micro attacks first. And I can level to seven. Cost seven to level. I can sell both the alley cats and then buy the dire wolf, probably. And then we just upgrade. And then we can discover light fang. That's probably okay. It feels like it's the move. Is that an A? Yeah, I'm playing on an A. Everyone's I'm just like on a smurf now. Because I want to like get a, an account with non fucked MMR, basically. Uh, okay. Those are bad hits for him. Unlucky. Three twos. I think my five four just carries hard. Maybe no, no. We always win this because like the way the trades work, we always have one minion left over. Sometimes two. Okay, super lucky trade. Getting lucky in these rounds feels like shit though, because they're the ones you really don't need to get lucky in. Then we don't discover and lose. I mean, health wise, we're still fine though. So we do this. Um, I sell one bad unit, two bad units. Bye. Uh, maybe Beast Gaming? 
I mean, it's by Goldrin every time. We know that. Not really a decision there, but um, maybe a beast game. Hard to say. Goldrin Direwolf. Not like the most insane start ever. We do have to roll now, though. Like, we're not strong enough at 4 right now. Would have taken a 7-7. It's less of a commit, for sure. But I think beasts are just good. And I think, like, we usually want to buy beasts at 4 and below. But uh, I think the 7-7 seven is fine. I would agree with you. There's nothing wrong with it. And it was, like, pretty close. I think that I just lean Goldrin because I don't think that getting 5s is that easy right now. And I think it's pretty easy to pick up beasts that are just strong. Because there's a lot in the pool. Like, uh, it makes, like, even Infested Wolf strong, right? Which otherwise is just kind of bad. That's not a super good Reborn minion. Because, like, when it comes back, it doesn't keep the buff, right? Hit. So, like, we tie here. No, we win now by a little bit. Okay, nice. I feel like maybe even like reborning the rat pack might have been better because, like, he doesn't have all the taunts in the world or his haunt. Um, keep up the pressure. I mean, would I just take this? It's not very good, but it's something. I can play the um, the vermin as well. This is probably fine here. It's not like the best play in the world. Oh fuck. Um Hey, a triple. Here's your reward. That was bad. I just missed attack. Yeah, that was really bad. My bad. Discover uh, another one. That was giga bad play. Maybe we do take Tirehorn now over this. I feel like the pair is really nice though. I think we go pair by this. I think that I want to buff this as well. Okay. Uh, that was really, really sloppy for me, though. Because this should just have two more attack. So, same with this. Stay on top. Could have had gold Direhorn soon? Could have gold uh, uh, Goldrin too, right? I think, like, for a Lakey Immune, Goldrin's just better anyways, right? I like it more anyways. Like, here, obviously not as good, but, I mean, it's still good enough. Like, we are really strong, right? So, I mean, I feel like we could be a little bit greedy. Amalgam is probably by. Maybe just like start with Hero Power, see what we get. Because like a lot of the cards are fine. Okay, we got Amalgam, nice. I don't think that I do anything. I maybe just level up and roll once. We're strong enough. Um. Maybe still Taunt here. I don't really need to desperately play this, right? It is a beast though, so we probably should like kind of desperately try to play it. Taunt card's kind of good. Taunt card's not that good though. This guy was a beast dude as well. We probably want to play our card that's going to be like 12 attack. Roll one more time. Um, we don't have him reluctant buff. Primal Fin's really good at this, but not good enough, I don't think. It technically costs like one gold. I just don't think it's really worth the lock, right? That's my problem here. It's like if I had a Murloc that I wanted, like this is technically a Murloc, right? But is it one that I want? And two, I don't have Bran. There's just like other things that I can roll for that are just better, I think, here. So we go for those things. Seems fine to pass, I think. Maybe like we get rid of Issa. I think that's okay to do, because if we want to go Menage rebuild, like this is still fine too, right? It's like a good pack. It only costs me like three gold here too. Because I just sell them. So for three, that's probably better than my average roll, I think. That's good to get the buff. Okay, so raw pack could be big. I think we're still fine though. We just usually kill this, right? The two twos don't do enough damage to our board. We still win or tie. Okay, now we tie. Okay, I'm lucky. Those are bad hits. Last time I think we got lucky against this guy, so it's fine. We're still strong though. Amalgam Dragon, yeah. So like the logic is like you keep the um, the primal pin, right, and then it's buffed. Maybe just hero power first. Does it even really matter though? We don't have tokens. I think it's okay to not hero power here. Go big or go Do that. Home, I say. We roll second. Magician, interesting. So we have to sell two. Do I keep Micro Machine or the Leaper? Probably Leaper over Micro. Health is better, I think, right now. Baron Rivendare is really interesting with this as well, actually. I think we should just do stuff right now. 
Just like play the cards. Um, second Amalgam, Cold Ice here. Second Amalgam is really good at this because I don't have to play Murloc anymore. Or maybe just do this, see if we get a high roll. 2-2 two is not good, so we still have 2-2. Two two. So we buff the Amalgams a lot. We sell this, we buy this. We do this. We sell this, we buy this, we roll once. Play this here. Um, lock for module, maybe? Module seems really good here. I should lock for module. I think this is good. Maybe even like do something like this. Or just buff up 3 7, maybe, in case it gets hit. Let's see if you can stay on top. This week is life kind of late, though. So double buff's pretty nuts. Once again, once again. We really want this to die. Unlucky. Rip Baron. We still win, though. So big, dude. I don't think Baron Rivendare is, like, a that insane of a card, but I think he's good sometimes. And, like, in this case, he's pretty strong. We're not really in a Mulligan build or a Beast build, so tearing this up is fine, I think. Just discover Mama Bear. Usually I don't like to do it, but I think this is fine. Generally not the biggest fan, but um, I don't really have any issues with it right now. The play just seems fine. Um, Zap Mama Seeds. Zap's not bad here, especially for against Mech Guy, right? If you buy Zap. Um, the module here, though. If I hero power, I can sell this, sell that. Yeah, yeah, so we hero power here, because maybe we get the buff, right? Nice, okay. So we sell this, sell, we reroll. Now we get the late thing, Omega Wall. Um, I mean, I just think it's too late. It's probably not worth it anymore. I'm just going to reroll again. It's worth thinking about, but I just think it's too late. Mm. It's just if that gets cleaved, it kind of sucks, right? Maybe we position like this. That seems fine. I think we still want Zap to attack first and these just go in. This should be okay though. It feels so bad to pass Light Fang, but it's just like the game's still late already. It's just not early enough, I don't think. I feel like that's fine. See if you can stay on top. Uh, okay, so we hit 3 3 and then we hit 4 5. Not the best. We win this every time though. Not even close. The buffs are insane here. He's probably close to being dead already. Maybe even dead. It's like high 20s? 29, dude. Holy shit. That might be the most amount of damage that I've done in one round ever. That was crazy. Um, let's buy this just for fun, because we're ahead. Yeah, it's not that good, but just for fun. Um, and Azure card's not worth it. Uh, we don't really have tokens. It might be worth it to just buy a Hyena, though. Just in case. Sure. It's good to get some minions. Uh, that's fine. Nothing. I don't need another taunt card. We're fine. I don't think Hyena is that good because we don't really play tokens right now. But uh, it's fine. I need to uh, update my um, deck tracker, I think. So we can get the uh, the board state thing. Maybe I just like re-download it. See if that works. You don't roll module on Light Fang? I mean, I don't really need another module, right? There's not really a reason to have a second one. It's like a buff, but not that good of one. And like the light thing, like since we upgraded Amalgam, isn't really that strong. If Amalgam was unupgraded, I would have like 100% kept it every time. But with only buffing two units, I would have to like play out of my comfort zone and like swap away from like the beast that I'm playing and make like the Ribbon Dare gro uh, Goldrin stuff like kind of suck. So I feel like it's not really worth it. I think it's a lot better to um, to just stick to this. Seems a lot stronger. Try to upgrade the Goldrin maybe. Um, Get some more death rattles that don't suck. I don't know. We probably don't have to like play too fancy because we're just really ahead right now, I think. So we hit both the two sixes. That's good. Good hits. Those are really important for his value generation, I think. Okay, so we get the buff or high main dies though, which sucks. But uh it's still a good buff. Put a bunch of tokens.
we're gonna see if Deck Tracker works for this now. Um, we should be buffed enough that we're fine here, I think. Because he doesn't summon more tokens, right? Yeah, we should be fine. He's up. Oh, okay, so it does show you the... Okay, that's broken. Nice. Super useful. So, three left. We get clone as well. Uh, if there's three left, then we get clone. Maybe we just buy Toxman level up here. This guy was mech build too. He was like mech beast. It's really weird. I guess that was four turns ago, right? Lots changes in four turns. I think we just buy this level up though. Um, Direwolf's kind of bad, but it's a beast. Maybe like sell the Direwolf, play the Toxman, reroll. I could like play another Baron too for fun if we want. Just double Baron right now. We get like a fun round, so that could be the move. Let's reroll, see what we got. Nothing. Nothing. Play the second Baron. Hyena is probably better to play, but like the buffs here are just so funny. Oh uh, shit, actually that doesn't sack, right? Um, Popega. Popega clap. Control is stupid. Let's go, dude. Control is dumb. Dumb, dumb control. Should not matter, but still, uh, not my best look ever. It's the same thing as, like, uh, Bran, right? We're, like, going twice, it just doesn't sack. It's a good hit for him. We get the double buff. We want to kill this. Nice. Because then we get the buff on everything. So I probably have to actually get off of a Baron if I don't roll another one here. Uh, just because I need space to play things that don't suck so we can win. Obviously we're going to have a lot of time, right? Because uh, like these guys have 6 health. I have at least like 2 losses to get a lot stronger. So this game should like 100% be a win. But uh, it's possible that we shift the bed. So we just kind of want to play around that opportunity, I'd say. That's all. Not bad, not bad. Gold turn upgrade seems big because we can get Mama. Uh, that's it. He doesn't die that often though, so the only problem here. Kangor's Megasaur Beast. Megasaur? We roll. Argus is not really worth it. I mean maybe Houndmaster is worth it for this actually. Technically maybe that's better then. Probably not. That's like, do we want I guess we don't want it to be that big, right? So this is probably better actually. Uh no. Another Amalg, another high main. We probably want another high main. Another high main seems good. So we're gonna do this. Can sell this. Play this. Hmm. The plant death metal is kind of useless, but everything else is bad. So we do that. I sell this and then buy the high main. Play the high main. Put this up front. So it dies fast. Then we get the buffs, okay. Um. I will sell this and play this, I think, too. I should have swapped them. That should be fine, though. And I also missed a reroll. I just wanted to make sure that we didn't lose. I don't think getting rid of their 3 is that big of a deal because we're already so big, but... You know, just kind of, like, play around that situation a little bit there. Okay, so Zap sucked there. He is Soul Jeffrey level 3. Maybe we actually could lose here. I think we actually got weaker. Maybe that was an int. Yeah, our Hyena just dies. Oh, no, it doesn't, actually, because of the... Double Soul of the Beast, nice. And then we're just huge. Okay. Now we just win. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. So this guy's dead, this guy faces clone, we probably beat him. Yeah, Hyman gets so big, dude, because you get plus 16, 16 with Riven here. Kind of insane. So we reroll. Nothing here. Keep up the pressure. Um, Rat Pack's interesting, I don't really want it though. The 7-7 seven, seven card is maybe a buy. Uh, Hyena upgrade seems good. So we should take that. Maybe get Mama Bear for the 50th time we can try for it. What would I, I guess I would sell like maybe the Zap then? For Mama? This guy was like Junk Bot mech, but I think the Junk Bot was uh, buffed, right? Yeah, so Zap doesn't really do anything here. Okay, so we do this, we reroll. Route pack, do we ever want that? I mean, like, maybe. 
Probably not, though. I think we're fine with what we have right now. Maybe, like, move this just like this, so then... We don't just, like, die to cleave if he has, like, a big foe reaper or something. Maybe it's even, like, up here for that reason. That's maybe okay. Sure. Um... I'll lock for it, that's fine. I'm not gonna, like, sell stuff and play it, but yeah, we're fine with this. Goldrin's buff should be big enough, I think. Uh, deck tracker battleground support was just added, yeah. They will track, um, what your opponents are running. Okay, so no full reaper. His junk bot's really big, and this amalgam can definitely beat us as well, though. Because, like, ours hits here, maybe? No, okay, that's lucky, at least. Maybe... That was not, I mean... It's, it's fine because of Mama, right? It's not really the big deal. That big of a deal, sorry. So this Junk Bot ends. And then he just went. Okay, good game. I don't think there's like any combination of attacks that would ever save him here. I think he just loses. Even if I get like worse RNG. Because like my guys are just too big now. Cool, a Ribbon Dare game. We didn't even really need the Mama at the end to win either. It was sort of just like because of the Golden pick that we had. We got Goldrin, then we got like a Ribbon there, and then the Ribbon there kind of just popped off with the Goldrin, and we sort of just went off of that. Flexible game though, that one was pretty cool. Uh, Yogg's Hero Power was definitely really relevant early, getting us like the super big win streak for a while. And I think, did we take two losses or one? It might have only been one. But uh, we did lose one around this game, it was a pretty close one though. Good stuff there, second win. Cool.